same. Because it had to be the same to get a positive answer. Mm -hmm. This was negative, so that has to be negative. If this was positive, they have to be the same because this is positive. That one would have to be positive. If this was a negative 28, I know automatically the signs have to be different to get a negative answer. So if this is positive, that has to be negative. Mm -hmm. If this was negative, that would have to be positive. You see what I mean? You got it? Okay. I'm going to review tomorrow. So basically the rules for the bottom is the rules for, for multiplying. multiplying. Yeah. Right, so you don't have to learn new rules for dividing because they are the multiplying rules. That's what's going to tell you what that answer sign is going to be. Following the multiplication rules. Got to either be same sign or different sign, depending on whether the answer has to be positive or negative. So, okay. So now subtraction. If you remember when we talked about adding, we said when the signs were different, you would subtract the smaller number from the larger number and keep the sign of the larger number. Now, you hear how I said that? That's how I've been saying it in those exact same words over and over and over for 30 years. Forever. And that's what goes through my mind when I have to work one of those problems. I say, okay, if I'm adding them, signs the same? Difference. It's the same thing. If the signs are the same when you add, keep the sign. The signs are different when you add, subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. That is when you, only time you subtract in positive and negative numbers is when you add and the signs are different. Because if it starts off telling you to subtract, It says you have a positive 8, take away a negative 4. Typically, again, this subtraction sign wouldn't be there. Sometimes it'll just say subtract. But anyway, the first thing, and boy, I need Jasmine in here for this too, because she's going to want to go over this, but we're going to go over some more tomorrow too. The first thing you do, if you see it's a subtraction problem, is change the sign of the sign that's being subtracted to the opposite. This was subtract, I mean a negative, we're going to change this to a positive. Is it because the 8 has a positive? It's because that's the rule. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's because it's the rule code. You know, you know, she just says that. that. that's that's that. that. Flat line. When you're subtracting, <laughs> first thing you do is change the sign to the opposite. This was positive. It's going to change to a negative. That's the first thing you do. When you do that, you change the problem to adding. Then you follow the rules of adding. So really, you only memorize two sets of rules. One rule for adding, one rule for so multiplying. So it's a negative, I mean positive four. And a positive eight. Now the answer is going to, now you follow the rules with the signs are the same. Oh, Add yeah. the numbers, keep the sign. So change the sign that's being subtracted. To the opposite. To the opposite. And oh, then okay. add. Okay, so let me write that down. I'm telling you. Change the sign to the opposite, keep then the add. When you add, you follow the rules of adding. Now, these signs are different, right? Mm -hmm. And when the signs are different, we subtract the smaller from the larger, uh -huh. keep the sign of the larger. Okay. Oh, I, I got this in my head. There's a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, no, you do yeah, it. It. Just do it. It's no confusing. Do three things. What are you? What are you? What are you trying to think so much into it? No, right there. Just do what it says. I got that line. You want to know? You want to know why? No, uh, the rule think, says think, when right. you're subtracting, change the sign and add. Right, I got that. Oh, That's look, all you do. The line is what I keep in my head. What line? Man. The line. On everything. You know, oh, that thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's all I do too. To get yeah. two, to okay, so you have plus eight, you have a positive eight, and then, and then writing down when you, 
come back around and get it's it. It's just that my mom and I said that was that negative four? Excuse me, second wave. Ask me a question. What'd you say? It was okay. negative four. Yeah. This me was too. a this positive four at first. Time. Okay. It was take I mean, away a positive four. four. Everybody look. This said positive eight. Take away a positive four is what it says. Did I change the four to negative? You change the four to a negative and add. Right. Now you follow the rules of adding. And the rules of adding say when the signs are different, subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. Here, this was a negative 4 at first, and it was subtraction. As soon as you see it's subtraction, the first thing you do, change this sign to the opposite, which will change this negative to a positive, right? Yes. And then add. The rules for adding say when the signs are the same, add the numbers, keep the sign. So you only have to remember two sets of rules. You have to remember that when you add them, when the signs are the same, what do you do? Keep the sign and add the numbers. Yeah. See, because I'm confused. So, so, okay, that because both of them po is positive numbers, that's going to be positive 12. Mm -hmm. But then you got um, positive 8 and negative 4 over there. So What does the rule say? The rule says subtract the smaller from the larger and keep the sign of the larger. Well, why you don't do that right there? Because the rule says when the signs are the same, you add the numbers and keep the sign. Yeah. Okay. If you take eight, four from eight, what are you going to get? Four. And that's what we have.